The thing is usually, a lot of the times, when a trauma is very serious, we know that. Like, it's not like if a person has been through a, abuse, they don't know they've had a difficult trauma. Mm. Right? So a lot of the times, our difficult traumas, we know them. We know that there's, there's something difficult that we need to deal with. That's one thing. And secondly, one of the things I would say is that if someone wants to start to heal these things, they can start with the simpler things. Like, we don't need to start jumping into the most difficult traumas we've had. And so there are so many things that we can work on and uh, a lot of the times because some people may say, okay, I feel like there are blockages inside me. I don't even know what caused it. How can I go back and heal it? Right? So in those cases, you don't even need to always know what happened to you to heal from it. Because the, our, our body, subhanAllah, is made in a way to initiate and help us with healing. So what happens is that someone may say, what are intrusive thoughts? Why do I get so many intrusive thoughts? Intrusive thoughts are nothing but the body trying to release these things, the blockages we have inside. Right? So um, I actually wanted to talk about this during the sixth night. I didn't get the chance. You know, I said a lot of the time something bad happens. We can't let go. We keep it in or something good. These things naturally want to come out because... It, they want us to be healthy. They want us to let go of blockages. The way these things want to release themselves so that we're healing is through thought sometimes. So for example, uh, and, and they're looking in our life for opportunities for something to be similar to something that happened to us. Let's say you're watching a movie and suddenly these thoughts don't let go. Probably something in the movie triggered a previous trauma that you had. Now, if you don't know that these thoughts which are coming up are actually good for you, they're just the body's way of getting rid of that previous blockage. If you know this, you'll be like, okay, as uncomfortable as they are, I'm not gonna engage with them. They'll do what they'll say, they'll talk, they'll talk, and they'll be probably a little scary. Right? But if you allow them to just, they'll go and release themselves. But the problem is that because we don't know what intrusive thoughts are, we engage with them. Like you're in a movie, it triggers your insecurity, and you engage with it. Well, no, I'll, I'm not like that. I'll do this, I'll do that. You see it, you're assured, you're trying to avoid it. So the, even sometimes I'm saying the trauma that you had, it, it, you don't even need to look for it. It comes find you through intrusive thoughts. All we need to do is to learn how, when we get all of these intrusive thoughts, understand that don't take them seriously. These thoughts don't have any value. They're not giving you any truth. They're just a trauma releasing itself.